we've had many years experience in building before so I don't think we were concerned about the uh, the work the construction we're familiar with this type of work um, but obviously it's a new country different people uh, a different way of life and a different culture so we have to try and see how we can adjust and, and to, to blend in with this this uh, culture so it, it uh, it became a little challenging, but I think we were, we were very comfortable with uh, how quickly the people welcomed us and uh, made us feel very happy to be here um, and uh, the, the joy of building. You know, one, one thing we were, we were talked about was when Miriam told us we would build on 10 sites and we thought, you know, I know we're a big group, but 10 sites is a, is a lot of work. But we did it, you know, we, 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 we made it happen. And, it was a wonderful thing to experience it with the families and, and with the Habitat volunteers and the Peace Corps workers. It was so well organized, you know, that uh, really I, I, have no, I, I, I have no criticism, no faults at all. I mean, it was just, everything was extremely well planned. So if, you, if you're considering coming to Paraguay, I would very much recommend a visit here. It's a, it's a beautiful country. The climate is wonderful, I, especially the winters. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a great work environment. Uh, we have found everybody to be so wonderful. You know, uh, we've been taken care of 24 hours a day. If anything, too much food. <laughs> um, but everybody in my team has been healthy. We've uh, really enjoyed, you know, the, the friendship and, and uh, the uh, fellowship, the brother, you know, people being brothers and sisters to us so much in this country and that's well that's been very important for a lot of us who a lot of our people who have not been on builds before they felt very very comfortable with uh, the way they were welcomed here and, and how they worked so yo como ATC asistente técnico constructivo estuve dando indicaciones eh, siguiendo los planos haciendo de comunicador entre los albañiles y los voluntarios eh, estuve siendo, oficiando también de, de anfitrión, estuve preocupando por eh, diversas actividades como el almuerzo, eh, la, las horas de descanso. Les invito a todas las personas a que vengan a aportar lo suyo. Es muy buena experiencia, Hay, conoce gente de otros países. Y realmente para mí, um, yo sé, es algo muy especial porque, bueno, como nosotros somos ayudantes del exterior, que vienen acá para trabajar con la gente. A mí me, me alegro mucho que puedo trabajar y ser un traductor más idioma, pero también cultura. Y eso para mí, por no ser un paraguayo, es algo que tengo orgullo. Y yo sugiero que todos deben hacerlo porque, no sé, en, en mi colegio tuvimos un, un cartel que dijo que el servicio es el alquiler de vivir.